You're listening to the Angry Marks Podcast Network. Hey, it's hey, Tony. An exclusive, Tony. This is this is phenomenal. That's right. That's right. I ain't gonna give up the address, but I'm just gonna tell you I'm in Jeffersonville. When the time's right, I ain't decided yet. It's either gonna be February third, fourth, or the sixth. I'm having a grand opening. Uh, said I'm ready to rock, man. You know, let's take this wrestling thing serious and let's get the boys to work. Start your own, are you gonna start your own promotion, Tony? Well, you know, I thought about that, but I like to, if you know anything about Danny Davis, you know, he started yeah. out over in Jeffersonville over here where I'm at. And I remember when I was, when I was, you're talking uh, about, training you're for, talking about da- dangerous Danny Davis, not the referee. Yeah, dangerous. No, no, about dangerous. Talking about Danny. the one with the star on it. Nightmare Danny Davis. He had a star right, right, over his arm. Nightmare Danny. Right. Yeah. And, and uh, you know, right, right. But you know, when I was coming up and I was training, and uh, there wasn't very many places you can go that had a ring. So we would go over there and rent his ring, you know, and work out, you know, and chalk up on your craft, you know. And uh, that, you know, I'm following his footsteps. I'm following, you know, what what what's good for people, man. I got a ring here just like he did, and it's there for the boys that they need it, you know, around here in the Louisville area, uh, the Indiana area. You know, and I'm thinking about maybe running some shows eventually, but not right now. Very cool. Well, that, that's awesome. When this is up and going, you got to let us know. And the yes, sir. So we'll make a road trip to Jeffersonville, right? There you go. And, and uh, we'll, you uh, know, make a road trip and visit you. Well, uh, the third, fourth, or the sixth, I ain't, I ain't for sure yet. In February, I got Jamie Dundee coming down. I got Tracy Smothers coming down. Uh, I'm going to do like three matches. Guy. Yes, I got, I'm on a dude like, uh, I'm a open the doors, would you say, like a grand opening. Show everybody what I've been doing for the last, you know, month and a half, getting this, this building ready, you know. So, uh, hey, I'm gonna put on four matches and, you know, I have a, a rap act. You ever heard of Buckshot? Yep. Okay. He's out of Louisville. He's gonna come over. He's gonna open everything up. I'm gonna put on some wrestling and show him some wrestling. You know, it's old school style. I got the light in the center of the ring. Everything else is dark. And I'm doing it, you know, the way I want to do it, the way it should be done. Hey, Tony? Yeah. Can I, I, I would just like to say that, you know, you're probably opening up even February, February 3rd, 4th, and 6th, that my birthday is February 3rd. <laughs> and I can think of a better birthday present than to be able to travel all the way up to Indiana and work for you. I just like to put that out sure. there. I would, <laughs> I would, I would love for you to be up here. Because then I'm going to go call Rob Conway, who's the NWA heavyweight champion, and be like, look, i got a match for you, bro. Will Huffington's going to put up his title against your title. <laughs> I, would, <laughs> hey, we'll talk, I would get, hey, I would get up with the details with you. We can make that happen. <laughs> Huckabee's, that would been be challenging, Huckabee's been challenging Rob Conway for months now, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> He's been ducking you? Yeah, man. They didn't have to be down here in Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, be honest, on all the way on a serious note, you know, Rob Rob just got out of the hospital. He had appendicitis, man. So if you guys oh, yeah. go to his Facebook, he's doing really good, man. Go to his Facebook, just, you know, say, hey, man, Rob, how you doing? You know, cheer the guy up, man, you know. We'll do it. We'll do it. He's a good dude. Yeah, he's a good dude. This is but the I, I, that is a match, we Will. We're talking to two tough Tony. Uh, before we finish up here with Will, um, I know. I want to kick it over to Zane Paisley. He's got a couple more questions, and we need to take a All break, right. Tony. Uh, but let's kick it over to Zane because he's got a couple doozies for you. All right, That's, cool. I just want to throw it out there that I am an ordained minister. I've performed uh, a few See? wedding ceremonies, so if you need me to drive okay. down there to to do a wedding ceremony, I'd be more than happy to do that for you. I appreciate that. And you know who else is an ordained minister? Kevin Gill. Oh, very nice. But you're a little bit very closer. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I can I can wear a full gimmick. I don't mind. I don't mind. Uh, that, that's the shit. <laughs> um, well, we didn't really have too much. I know we we need to wrap up soon um, with you, Tony. But we didn't really get a chance to talk too much about uh, Japan. But I, I, okay. I whenever I hear of somebody that that's gone to Japan and worked there extensively, I always have to have to ask them if they have a Ribera jacket. Oh yeah, I got two Ribera jackets. Okay. But, you know, I, I like Ribera, just not to cut you off. I, I, I like Ribera, but I love Mr. Danger. What's Mr. You know, Danger? He's got a steakhouse. 
It's Mr. Danger Steakhouse. He's got his own restaurant over now. Mr. Danger, a legendary Japanese hardcore deathmatch wrestler. Oh, very cool. Oh, wow. Does he have oh. satin jackets? Uh, no, I think he gives you shirts. He's a little bit cheaper than Rivera. <laughs> so, so you say you have two. Are, are you one? But, but here, here's, here's the good thing. Miss, Mr. Danger cooks your steak. How dangerous is that? <laughs> that is dangerous. <laughs> well, hey, Zane, and, what, Zane, what's the odds? Zane, what's the odds that we get two tough Tony to autograph one and send, and send it to us? Uh, I, 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 I don't think he'll do that, but, uh, but maybe if I go ah. down and perform enough wedding ceremonies, he'll wear it for a picture or okay. something. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Eventually just hand it over after you've done a few of them. Yeah. <laughs> and my final question for you, we had Nigel McGinnis on a few weeks ago and, okay. uh, you know, he's, he's been on a, um, crusade to stop intentional. Right, for LA fighting. fights. What's that? Right. LA fights. Yes. LA fights. Yep. I'm down with Nigel. Shit. I, I, I think, you know, it's, it's the shit what he's doing, you know? Well, my, I mean, my question to you is that he's been on the crusade uh, against intentional bloodletting in pro wrestling mm-hmm. for the last couple of years. What What are your thoughts on that? Do you think that there's too much uh, intentional blood, or or you know what What are your thoughts? I'm glad you asked me that because you know as you get older you get wiser, okay? And uh, I can understand if you're starting an angle with somebody, or if you're ending an angle with somebody, or you know. So the blood deal. It's it's always been there, you know, but every fucking match, you know, it's just, it's getting out of hand, you know. Uh, I, I believe in what the guy's doing, you know. Well, thank you so much for your thoughts on that. And uh, I really like what you said about your, your new, the, the arena, going to have the single light in the center. So it's the, mm-hmm. the old it's school the, style. The focus on, on the, on the workers. And not the right. not the people in the crowd, which that drives right. me nuts anymore. You know, my first match ever was in Louisville Gardens, and that's how it was. Everything was black on the outside, and right in the center of the ring, it was just lit up. Like you said, to focus more on the wrestlers, focus more on their craft, you know. And I, I want to give that platform to the guys, you know. I want I, I want I want my building to be like, you know, I've been into several. I'm talking about. I couldn't even probably count how many venues. And, and it was just like, man, what the fuck am I doing here? I wouldn't have fight, you know, somebody, if I just met a chick and I said, hey, uh, come watch me wrestle down here. You know, if that place ain't the shit or if it's a bingo hall, when she comes down there, she's like, like, who's this loser? <laughs> you know? But if it's all decked out and nice, you can invite anybody you want to to come watch you wrestle because it's thrown together professional. It's not just thrown together, you know, crap, you know? So that's what I'm going for is, you know, because I've been in so many venues, I know what what it needs to have, you know. And that's why I call it the arena. It's a small arena. You drop down into a pit. The ring's right there. It, it holds probably about 200, 250, and that's a good, for an independent show, that's a good crowd, you know, 250. Yep. Well, Huckabee, I think I cut you off when you were trying to ask the question while I was talking about uh Popping us for the Undisputed Wrestling Show. Did you have a final one for Mr. <laughs> uh, Tony? Uh, actually, I do. I actually have one final question. Uh, Tony, when this is said and done, you know, you finally hang your boots up and stuff, um, what what do you want your legacy to be as far as professional wrestling goes? What's the one thing you want people to remember about you? Well, you know, the, I'm honest. Uh, I work hard. You know, I give 125%. If I if I make one kid happy in the crowd, or if I make ten kids happy, it's all about the kids, man. If you really sit back and think about it, it's all about the kids, man. And that's what Two Tough Tony's about. He's about the kids. So what I want to leave back is the memory that I made some kids happy. I did what was right. I didn't do what was wrong. You know, I did what was right. So as long as they, you know, wrestling's going to be wrestling, man. You know. There's a ton of wrestlers who've never made a name for themselves. And if I do, if I don't, I'm still going to be happy. I wouldn't change nothing, you know, knowing that you made some kids happy. You know, they might go home. They might, you know, be able to live life another day, you know, because they enjoyed you. So, I mean, 
if I leave something to somebody, you might be able to fucking super Google me one day, you know? <laughs> we don't know what's going to happen, you know? This, you know, the wrestler, there you go. The wrestler, you know, <laughs> that, that mystique, what's, what happened? Did he die? Is he alive? You know, that's why I want it, you know? And I want to give out, shout out to Gypsy Joe, man. And, uh, he's got Facebook too, man. He's needing a little love right now. It's laid up down there in Nashville. So if y'all gonna look up Gypsy Joe and say Too Tough Tony said hi, or you say hi, whatever, man. Give him some love. We can definitely do that. Tony, we've, there's a lot of stuff we'd love to talk to you about. We're gonna have to have you come back on and join us again. Yeah, let's do a part two. I'm down, man. Yeah, I'm down. I, I ain't the, like I said, I ain't the most witty guy, but I'm the most honest guy. You know what I'm saying? I I can't tell really good stories, uh, but I can make you laugh. So you owe me 10 bucks. All you owe me a ticket. So it's 10, 10, 10, 10. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> hey, I feel, I feel awesome that you gave us an exclusive on our show. That's, that's phenomenal, man. Yeah. Hey, and that's, you know, at the right place at the right time, man. You know, and that's just like wrestling, being at the right place at the right time. That's you right. Know. I appreciate you guys having me. For all you listeners out there, go to the Undisputed Wrestling Show. Uh, tell them Too Tough Tony sent you. Uh, hit him up on Twitter. What's your Twitter account? Our Twitter account is, I haven't got a show, the show's Twitter account yet. It's still on mine, so it's at Rick. Okay, well, send them to you. Right. That's right. At at Rick underscore underscore Craig. Craig. All right, hit him up. Find us on Facebook. Will, I got you and, uh, you have Ryan a match. As soon as it's the third, fourth, or sixth, I'm going to make that happen. We all have to put the titles on the line. I know neither one of y'all going to lose, so we'll just do a run in <laughs> with a bunch of hardcore guys. <laughs> no problem. Look, hey, I, t- I-, I start following you on Twitter and stuff, so we can talk through there, all right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Please hit me before up, man. To- I- I'd be honored hey, if Tony, you came down this way. Before we let you go, before we let you go, brother Tony, hit us up with all of your your uh, social media so everybody knows how to get a hold of you. Okay, uh, you know, I gave a guy too tough, Tony. He asked me if I wanted it back, and I said no. So if you really want to find me on Facebook, it's T-U-F-F Tony. I just dropped the two. Now this guy gets a bunch of that spam mail and all that. You know, <laughs> I can play my games, and I ain't got to worry about nobody. But uh, my Twitter account uh uh, JCW, Too Tough Tony, hit me up there. Uh, if, if we're close to a show, man, come show the support for the wrestlers, man. You know, have a good time and much love. Want to give it out to Undisputed Wrestling Show, Will Huckabee, Zane Paisley, Rick. <laughs> hey, I got you guys, man. I appreciate okay. it. Thank you for having me. Whoop, whoop. Much clown love. Peace. Take care of Colt for us this weekend up in Pontiac. Yeah, the officer must pay. So, too tough, Tony, here on the Undisputed Wrestling Show. Great deal of fun. Great guy. I uh, can't wait to have him back on again. Um, Zane Paisley, your thoughts? Oh, that was a, that was a lot of fun. Uh, I didn't know what to expect because he's not on a whole lot of uh, of uh, shows like ours. And and man, that was a good time. 